Welcome on back to another video of Elden Ring 100% and then the DLC afterwards. So we're still in this area right here. Um, the Nameless Eternal City. We're doing the previous episode. We lowered one of the bell towers so that we can actually get rid of all the like ghost guardians in the zone. There's a lot of them. There's seriously a lot of them. Um, but yeah, now we're going to go kill two bears. Uh, within this episode, it's going to be two bears. There's probably this, uh, uh, the boss in the zone as well. And uh, yeah, it's going to be a compact full video, actually. Uh, so I just want to make sure... Um, I think the first bear is over there. Like, I just need to get my bearings where we are. So this is where the guy dropped. So... We're going to clear out all this stuff on the side right now. After you make this guy drop, obviously, all the... Um, all the ghosts in the zone. Ghost guardians in the zone. So they stop functioning, to be honest. So, um, we're going to go up there soon. I just want to check for some loots. Some loose loots running around here. Because uh, after that, I was like, dude, I need a... You know, one hour video. We need to stop recording. I need a break from this game because I got angry uh, in the previous video. A little bit too many times. Um, so yeah. We're just gonna loop around here and just like, you know, tap our triangle button. There's loose loot in here. There it is. Somberstone 6. Uh, we're gonna go there soonish, I think. I don't think it's there. <laughs> but yeah, we're just gonna grab all the loose loot laying around. So we're just sticking to the side of this area. There's a lot of the stuff here. Uh, there's also gonna be quite a few stuff on the trees or the branches, and we'll go there uh, soon. We also got a new summon there, but obviously nothing will compare. <laughs> nothing will compare to the mimic. You also hear a bull there, and I believe it's a gold bull, by the way. I'm gonna dismount for this one because the mount can be finicky. Got a rune eight. And just keep in mind, guys, we are looting the most important stuff that you need in this game. Uh, if we do miss something like a rune, I don't know, even a rune eight or whatever, like it's not a big deal, obviously. Should we get a somber from this, I think. Yeah, Sumber 6. We don't have to kill these guys. I just feel like it's a little bit better to kill. Uh, not seeing any other loot here. We're going to make our way back. Okay, that is this branch. Checking up here. Nothing that I can see. Okay, we're going to hop onto the other one. They're guarding some... Oh, I think I've been here already. Yeah, we've been up there. We grabbed that loot there. If we didn't, we'll see it from up here as well. I think I've been up here also. Let's just double check. Oh, there it is. There's some loot. Uh, rune 8. There's no loot on the tower because we've been there. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we'll go check anyway. Yeah, I've been here before. This is where the archer was shooting me the whole time and I took out the archer. So I think that takes care of this branch. Or well, this, yeah, this tree. Not seeing any other loots laying around. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna just head down here. And then we're gonna go for a boss fight with a bear. I think if you kill the bear, you get loot, so that's why we're killing it. And if you go there again, uh, they shouldn't be there anymore. 
So right up here is a bear. There he is. Uh, we're just gonna use this. Uh, well done. Wrong button. Off to a great start. I'm just trying to, like, create distance so I can heal. Three proc, three day. Okay. Get the beast blood there. Get a lot of stuff actually from killing the bear. So that's the first bear down. And I think that covers also the bottom zone of this area, if I'm not mistaken. So we're gonna warp on ahead to the topper zone. So, <clears throat> warping will give us, obviously, a few things. It will restore us like we're resting. Uh, also, we have 115,000 runes, so... can definitely level up something here. So, f 45. We're gonna get our Vigor to 45, and then we're gonna start working on Strength to 45 or so. So, the upper side is a little bit more tricky. Um, so, we're looking for that guy in particular. And he's pointing to the right, to the branch here. So, all we gotta do is just run behind him. And that takes care of that. There's something else I also want to check here. Raising the equip load, but not our HP. I think we just want this one right here. it raises equip load and stamina. So... Getting lightning great bolts. That sounds insane. Gee. So our HP increases a little bit also by that one. So we'll just keep that. Uh, this one we're going to just run straight. We're going to take care of that one quickly. It's right in front of us. We're going to make our way up here. takes care of that one. I don't know if there's like any loose loots laying around here, but we'll just have a look. Like I said before, we're grabbing the most important things. So like loose loots laying around, that's like a somber three, a rune five, like I don't care too much about those things. Uh, so that, that staff right there apparently is like 70 intel. Oopsie. Um, there it is, Prince of Death Darth. So if you have, what is the requirements? Bro, I can't even see. Oh, Intel 18, Faith 18. Okay, never mind. People are lying, dude. Uh, guides are lying to us, guys. Sometimes he's talking through his arse. Acting like he's no things, but he doesn't know things. Okay, so right here you want to sprint. Uh, there's going to be two of these guys. And if you don't sprint, you're going to get killed. So we're going to sprint up. So we got, so we got past. Brunei, there's another Grace up there. Yeah, we're gonna go grab the Grace. We can jump across like this. There's a branch right there we'll go for. Uh, so the boss of the zone is actually right there. And we're gonna go there very soon. But there's another... <gasps> 
Oh, okay. There's another uh, bear we have to fight. Is it below us? Goodness, it's kind of tricky, isn't it? Where is that one that would knock you down? It was that one, yeah? Okay, so we're just gonna check over here. Seems like just dead ends. We've been on that branch already. We came across here. So I think now all we gotta do is go to the other direction. So we came up here and we jumped to the left, but you can also jump to the right. Yeah, what did it say? I didn't take care of him, man. Oh, shit. Okay. That could have ended badly. <laughs> okay, so that hole is where we're going to go down in. Another bear there. You can see these flying ants. You can take care of them if you want to. We're just going to come here for... This. The glove wart. Seven. We can buy up until six now, so... We're going to make our way down here. Whee! And by coming from the top here, we get extra goodies. Like four more brick. <laughs> four make rock. Goodness. And then we're gonna just prepare for this one. And we're gonna go. Let's do it. We missed. That he should be like falling over soon, man. Okay, Prince of Death, and then we have Beast Blood, mm, man blood. And then that takes care of the zone, guys. I honestly think we did everything here that we could. Um, I mean, there's still like loose loot swing around, it's minor stuff, uh, if you really want to pick them up. But for now, I think we've done everything in the zone we could. So we're just going to teleport back here. It's over here, right? Hmm. It looks like here on the map, but it looks like there... Sorry, it looks like here on our screen, but it looks like here on the map. <laughs> So I'll just go to there first and see if it's there. But yeah, I think uh, I think we're ready for whatever that hellhole is. Let's do this. I want to see my summon, like, how strong it would be against them. That's Godric laying there, by the way, at the top there. You can see a half fish. Oh. Is it like a fish? Goodness.
Dude. You can't tell me this is not the best summon. Impass the Bree. Round two. Oh, the parry, bro. Jumping slash. Goodness. Now three of them will spawn. I might just kill the mage. Myself. This is not the mage. That's the mage. Doesn't look like a mage to me, son. My mimic's getting double teamed here, but that's okay. Look at this thing, dude. You almost killed. There we go. <laughs> got Thea, Thea's missed. We got a Grace here. Uh, we're gonna talk to her first and get a beautiful hug. Because, you know, uh, we haven't got one in a long time. There you are. I knew you would come. What is it you intend? To deny us and our ways, like the dogmatic brutes of the Golden Order. No, I want to be held. Please hold me. You are an odd one. I am the guardian of those who live in death. They call me a foul and rotten witch. Yet you still wish to be held by me? Obviously, we get this, yeah. Have you ever seen a hollow brand? When the first of the demigods died, his flesh was marked with the half wheel wound of the centipede. Godwin's hollow brand has since been recovered at the round table hold. But there is another hollow brand out there somewhere, and I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. When Godwin died, a hollow brand scored his flesh, but another exists. Another mark in the shape of the half wheel wound of the centipede. And I must find it before the time comes we receive our Lord. My hands will be dirtied once more by the deed. Will you still let me hold you, even then? This is the other hollow brand. How did you. Oh, my utmost thanks. With this, Godwin can take his rightful place as first of the dead and claim a second, illustrious life. You are my, our, true champion. And though I can't be of any use to you, can I hold you tight? If only for a moment. Squeeze me. And we get another blessing. Good news. I will soon lay with Godwin, and it will surely stir within me. The new life of the Golden Prince, and first dead of the demigods, as the rune of those who live in death. Please, do one thing for me. Brandish this child, my rune, and take for yourself the throne. Stay the persecution of those who live in death by becoming our Elden Lord. I will soon lay with Godwin to conceive my grandish mistake. So this is the same. Thank you for holding me. Even though it's the last time. So now if we rest here, she should be GG, you know what I'm saying?
You're still not. You're still there. Huh? Maybe she has to hold us one more time. Same dialogue again. What a great okay, now I think if you rest, she's gone, me. Just like all my girlfriends in, in real life. Just leave me. Enter the deathbed dream. So this is a dragon boss fight, guys. Most probably the best looking dragon in the game. In my opinion, at least. But let me know in the comment section if you agree or disagree. So these are death clouds, by the way, so pretty much just stay out of it. I want my Mimic to 1v1 him. should be able to 1v1. HP is roughly the same at the moment. Look how cool this dragon looks, dude. They're roughly on the same HP. Fine, let's get involved. Yeah, Mimic is losing at the moment. Oh no, we're on death clouds. I remember we couldn't 1v1, but, you know, wanted to see it. Remembrance of the Lich Dragon of Doom. <laughs> we got so much ruins, bro. Goodness. Absolutely ridiculous. But it's okay. It's alright. We're gonna spend it tonight. Let's come back here. You get the Mending Rune of the Death Prince. Now, if you rest again, Dee's brother will be here. Ha! Prince of Death, take a good long look. 
See the wrath of the Golden Order. The Order's justice writ in blood. This is what's become of your precious witch. Naught but expired meat and bone. This is a proper death, O oh Prince. Look at this rotten whore. No more children can be got from this useless flesh. Behold, your mother is dead. <laughs> <laughs> this is revenge, you witch. And you, you ghoul. This is the wrath of D. She wants my D. <laughs> ah, hello. The rotten witch is dead. The golden order unsullied. Now I can look my brother Darian in the eye. Honeyed rays of gold, deliver my spirit. Darian, now I have no regrets. Honeyed rays of gold, deliver my spirit. Darian, honeyed... So that's his dialogue done. We can grab Fia's gear. We get our headpiece and our chest. Obviously she has no arms and feet clearly. So we rest again. D's brother is also gone. But you get his loot here. Get the blade, the headpiece, the chest piece, the gloves, and the legs. So pretty cool stuff, actually. Um, the weapon, on the other hand, I don't know how good this is, but you can see it does holy damage, uh, which is pretty nice. It scales with faith mostly and then strength and dex after now in my opinion if you use faith as a weapon i would recommend rather a bleed weapon um but yeah you can obviously use this as well I, I don't know how good it is or bad it is to be honest i don't have 20 faith so i can't really tell um but yeah there we go that is done scorpion stinger this thing looks nice bro retreating thrust Is it this weapon that I saw? Just give me one second. Bro, there is just so many cool builds on YouTube about, uh, you know, different stuff you can do. So it's pretty cool. Okay, we're going to head to the round table here and we're going to check out the stuff we got in the other oh, twin head, twin, twin lady, twin fingers lady. <sighs> you have returned. What is it? So we got two we can use here. Apparently, Ash of War is pretty good. Waves of Darkness. Usable on great axes, great hammers, and great spears, and colossal weapons. So we, yeah, we're going to buy this one. Dude, it costs 10,000 wounds though. That's crazy. And you lose, and you lose the Remembrance, which means you... In total, you lose about 50,000, most probably, around that area by picking one of the items here. So we're going to take this one, the Ash of War. Now these two, apparently death can only be uh, put on players, not on bosses or even enemies. So you must probably want to stay away from uh, death. However, it's, it's, it's only usable in PvP. Um... And it's pretty bad spell, uh, apparently. I don't know if they buffed it and made it better. The Lightning Spear is pretty good, um, but it takes a very long time to wind up and, and use it. So it's up to you. You just have to keep your distance then. Make sure you get your cast off. Um, I'm not going to use any of these two. Both is for Faith. I'm not a Faith build, so... Go forth. Let the words of the fingers guide you. Thank you, lady. Now show me them sucky nips. <laughs> Those crinkle stuff. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, so going down here, we can use all of these beautiful stuff. And we're going to level up.
Oh. There's more 30,000. Uh, let's see your inventory. Uh, we're going to use everything above 5, so... Time to rack up our juicy stats here. Over 400,000 runes. Will this man survive? Doubt it. <laughs> okay. Trying to get our strength up also to 25. And then, I don't know. Maybe endurance might be better to go for first. You can see we're reaching level 100, guys. Goodness. Um, but yeah. You see, taking up endurance increases your increases your total stamina, but also because we're using uh, this thing right here, I think it also increases the the recovery. I think it's percentage based on your total stamina, and that makes this green talisman very very good on that behalf or that front. Okay, so now we're just going to. Yeah, I, I don't think we can upgrade anything. So we're going to go all the way up here to the Ravine Veiled Village. Actually, this is the wrong place. We're going to go to the Magma Worm. We're going to enter from the backside here. Ruins strewn areas of doom. I kind of look like a badass, though. Like, let's be honest, dude. The gear we have on is a little bit heavy on the heavy side, but it's okay. As long as we are rocking the medium rolls, nothing really else matters. I want to get that two-handed sword talisman, though. I don't know if it's in the DLC or um, in this game. So we're going to grab some golden seeds and stuff. Uh, we are going to slap a dragon a bit around. Uh, we're going to clear out this path a little bit later. For now, we're just going to unlock the zone. And also get the map and stuff. So we're just running northeast and then north. A big old dragon will show up, you know what I'm saying? To hit him like four times. I didn't even dismount. And I, I spammed R1. <laughs> he just vanishes. I use my summon there because we're gonna teleport fairly soon again. Isn't there like a golden seed here? I think we missed out on that. But yeah, we're gonna come and clear the zone, so it doesn't really matter at the moment. Look at that, bro. Goodness. Absolutely phenomenal. Talk to our one armed girlfriend. Ah, we meet again. In truth, it's been smooth sailing for me. The scarlet rot has stilled since last we met. As such, I've been able to continue my journey. Though rather vexingly, I realized that if I still had my sword arm, I could have aided you in battle. 
Now I'm tracing the path Melania took after unleashing the power of the Scarlet Rot during her battle with General Radan in the Kaled Wilds. I should like to meet her. This vanished woman. I think she's in the north, in the lands that lie beyond the Earth Tree. Now, I'm tracing the path Melania took. She's passed into the lands that lie beyond the Earth Tree. So the legends say that if you look at the Earth Tree for too long, your eyes will turn like this. Ugh, dude, it's so hard to get it there. I mean, I'm so hard. Wait, wait, what? I mean, look at that, bro. Look at those eyes. What the heck? They're so beautiful. There's the Earth Tree I was looking for. Sorry, the golden scene. Everything is Earth Tree now, you know? Say it once. And then everything is Earth Tree. <laughs> Run up here. Uh, we took the back entrance, so she should be standing here. Yep. Oh, there she is. I've been waiting for you. I knew you had the stuff of champions. I hereby invite you to the Volcano Manor. Take my hand and have audience with my mistress. Take it. Give me your hand. I will pray that you follow the same path as Lady Tanith. And just like that, we warp somewhere else. <laughs> Crazy, bro. Now, we're not going to talk to them yet. But instead, we're going to just run out. We're going to unlock another Grace. And then we're going to teleport. And we're not going to fight these guys yet. We'll fight them at a later stage. Just checking if he's alive, you know what I'm saying? Oh, he angry. So we're gonna get the map of this area. There's also a shiny here. We just spend like a minute quickly to get it. There we go. Uh, through and through, Ash of War. So if you play an archer, you can use that. Where the heck? There's the golden scene. <laughs> I was like, that. I promise I saw one? Where is it? We're going to make our way down here, and then we're going to get the map of the zone, because you can see we don't have the map yet. Holding room three. So yeah, lots of handsies here again. But we don't have a problem with them. At least I didn't. They're like two hits, bro. Grab the map of the zone. And then we are just resting here. We get out of combat and we're gonna teleport somewhere else. Okay, so now we're just gonna warp out of here. Uh, we're gonna go to. Did it feel so weird now being able to see the map? We're gonna go to here, the Earth Tree Glazing Hill. This is where we were before, before we uh, took our hand and teleported back. Altus Plateau, we're gonna go here and here. Uh, then we're gonna go somewhere up here somewhere. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll see once we get there. Uh, loads of boss fights coming up. Uh, loads of... It's... Wait, I'm running the wrong way. This is the way we came in. Imagine marking your map 
and then still running the wrong way, dude. That takes a very special kind of player to for that to happen, you know? So grab the skull and seed already. This place looks like death, bro. Obviously gonna come through these things later. Ballista shooting at us. What is in there? It's a warming stone. Okay, come to number one first. Get more golden seeds. what I'm talking about. Okay, we're gonna clear out the zone uh, at some point. We're just unlocking the zone first. Run through the marker. Okay, there's no one standing here. We need to talk to someone at the round table. Okay, so that gives us this map here. We're just going to make our way to marker number two. There's some loot up there. I'll go grab it. What are you looking at? Ah, oh, man. Keep looking at me then. Sorry. Okay, so going through the middle, there's going to be Ballista shooting at you. So we're going through the side. There will be a bear here. Try not to scare the bear with your horsey. Bears is easily scared. So we're gonna just stay our distance. Okay, it's in here. Nope. We should have taken the one after that. And right up here is two dudes we're gonna fight. We just have to separate them. I also have the debuff on for poise. I don't know if I want to get rid of it or keep it. I'm not too sure yet. We'll fight these guys soon. I should be retreating now. Grab my golden seeds. Don't think I should rest here, but we might be able to increase our flask. Which, I mean, doesn't make a, d a difference anymore. If you need 11 flags, flask, you must probably are dead anyway. At that point. So, these two can separate. We can't summon. We can summon now. So they are separating now. For some reason. One down. I think my mimic might disappear for running this far. Okay, it didn't disappear. takes care of them. 
get the Earth Tree Great Shield and another Hero Rune, which I think is about. Ooh, I have to take a rough guess. 5,000? 5 to 10,000 runes somewhere there. I think it's a plus 10 uh, rune. So we're just going to rest here so we have our summon again. We're going to grab this map and then continue on. So on this path, we're going to fight... This thing but I think at this point my my mimic can solo him I think Bloodlust should be proccing anytime soon. Give us the Gargoyle Great Axe. So we're just going to keep running. North, east, north. And then we're going to fight another boss. Which is Godric coming back from dead. Well, I mean, it's. I think it's just a fake. We've got two more Golden Seeds here. Absolutely ridiculous. How many flasks do one we one need, you know? So there's gonna be an enemy standing here, this one. Easy fight, bro. Goodness. And we get the Amber Medallion Plus One. So this is the upgraded version of this one. So raises maximum stamina. Raises maximum stamina. Uh, but it's greatly. Yeah. What we got to do right now is grab this grace. We'll also rest at it so we have summons again for whatever comes up ahead. We can actually increase our flasks again. Again. <laughs> That's why I said in the beginning, do not... Uh... Ooh, we can talk to Melena here. I don't think we should. Um, it might trigger some events that we don't want to deal with right now. But yeah, that's why I said at the start, do not take the, the blood, uh, sorry, the, the golden seed. Because we're going to get so many, bro. Like, we don't need that. Uh, so we're going to go, I think it's roughly here somewhere. Um, we're just going to grab a tier up there, which is pretty good. Now, the tier we're going to get is going to make uh, gonna make it that you don't lose your runes if you die. Um, while the tier is active, obviously. And how you activate it is by drinking this flask, which right now my flask is plus 5 strength, plus 5 dex for like 60 seconds, so it's a lot. <laughs> Um, but I think that time frame is the same for when you use that in your flask. So you won't be losing your runes uh, if you use it. So pretty cool stuff. Coming up here, there's going to be some enemies. There's the tier. Uh, 
There's the Twiggy Cracked Tear and the Crimson Crystal. Obviously, these guys are regular enemies, but we're going to teleport away, so I might as well just summon. Grab some flowers here. Okay, and that is the zone right here done. Just going to unmark this. Obviously, we'll come to kill the Earth Tree uh, Defender at some point. Uh, but for now, we're just going to head back. Uh, to uh, do -do -do -do. Is it here? Lux ruins, yeah. The earth tree glazing hill. So we're going to head back there. And we're going to do the Lux area as well. And we hear the Great Bow again. Uh, what you want to do also then is just equip some throwing knives. But we will remove it because... Because our summon uses that. And it's just a joke, you know. Um, it doesn't do anything. For us, it's just to kill these guys, the, the rolly away guys. That will instantly disappear if you get close. So there's some goodies around here, so we're gonna just grab it. Um. Obviously, these guys are just a waste of time. But it's okay. So that covers here. Now we just have to get into Lux Manor. Or Lux Ruins. The way you enter there is... This way. And I missed the jump. I think we can go around. Can we? I missed the jump, so... There must be an easier route. It's like this hill just keep getting bigger. I'm not gonna run all the way around, dude. We'll just try the jump again. <laughs> so get up here. Get a little bit of a running distance. Oh my goodness. How am I this bad at video games, dude? Because there must be another ledge. That's why we can't reach there. Yeah, there is. There is a little bit more distance. You don't jump from the bricks where the bricks end. You jump a little bit later than that. So now we're above, and now we can get to the ruins. These guys become problematic, so just kill them. They're literally one hit. I don't know. Who, yeah, they drop loot sometimes. Okay. Some string. Nice. More string. Golden rune. The thing I'm gonna kill is right here. And we're gonna just remove it. We're getting Ash of War Shield Crash. I think there's anything here. 
Okay, and there's a boss down here. Nice four R1s and he's dead. I swung five times. We missed our first attack, so... Yeah, we are way too strong for the zone at the moment. At least the starting zone of this area. And we get the Ritual Sword Talisman, which sounds very interesting. Greatly raises vitality. Uh, raises immunity and focus. I think this raises all immunity. Raises attack power when HP is at maximum. I mean... Like, honestly, how often will you be at maximum health? We can't really use this. Okay, whatever. So that covers the zone. The zone is done. And now we're going to make our way to the Volcano Manor of Doom. Okay, we're back into here. Now we're going to talk and do this. Brave Tarnished. Welcome to the Volcano Manor. I am Tanith, the proprietress of this house. Raya spoke well of you, a warrior of promise, I believe she said. Perhaps you are prepared to make a commitment. Will you join us here at the Volcano Manor and resist the tide? Why accept the burden of their grace or be fooled by the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? Rise with us against the Erd Tree. Oh man, this is a hard decision, isn't it? Okay, we're joining. Interesting. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable, but be sure to earn your keep. The drawing room is through the hall. Use the key I handed you. Yeah. And make it. So this is actually a place we're gonna, we're, gonna, we're going to come to later. If you press on this, it's a hidden wall. We're going to go there later. Just open up every door. That door is locked, so it will be a shortcut much later in the game. And we're just going to talk to all the people here. And obviously check for loot as well. Nothing here. The girl that sent us here should be in this room. Yeah, there she is. Hello again, brave tarnished. As a scout, I am pleased to see you again here at the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave tarnished under Lady Tanith's guidance. Okay. That's her dialogue then. You. What in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. This blasphemous path leads only to a pitiful death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind. Ah. Oh, it, I... It's, it's you, is it? Well, nice to see you again. So you've been invited as well, I see. Then we're comrades in arms, henceforth. You watch my back, and I'll watch yours. Yes? I, um, I can tell. You're wondering about Lanya. Well, you see, I, after much internal debate, I've come to realize revenge is not the answer. According to Lady Tanith, 
I've got the stuff of champions. And champions, ironic as it is, are oft forced to walk a tainted path. It hit me like a bolt from the blue, that my former thoughts were simple naivety. Of course my heart weeps for Lanya. That unfortunate incident was a cruel twist of fate indeed. But succumbing to the pain and sadness caused won't make me a champion, will it? Lanya knows this, I'm certain. Fate has laid hard roads for us both, but such is true of any road trod by champions. I always resented these hands, their pale complexion, a far cry from any warriors, the shame of House Hoslo, but that won't be the case for long. They'll be darkened by grit once I've set out on the path of champions. The tale of House Hoslo is told in blood after all. I always resented these hands. You're gonna resent these nuts in your chin? Uh, okay, I can't open the door from that side. That's weird. We can from this side. I guess you only have a push animation, not a pull. That's just my guess. Oh, it's dark. Okay, I think that covers this hallway right here. We go open up all the doors except for the shortcut. Which will unlock much later in the game. So don't worry about that. Next thing we're going to do is go upstairs. There's going to be an invader. We'll take care of him. But that's going to happen in the next episode, guys. Since we reach one hour. Hopefully you guys did enjoy today's video. If you did, leave a like. Subscribe if you're new. And I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.